Today on the North American Journeyman, we play against Toluca from Mexico in the CONCACAF Champions Cup quarterfinal. We're slight underdogs, but our wage bill is around $4 million per year, and theirs is around $45 million per year. So speaking of wages, we're here in the squad screen with the wages pulled up because I'm starting to try and get rid of some of these release fees because as you can see, Manuel David is starting to get a little bit of attention. I thought this might happen as we progressed into the Champions Cup, raising the profile of some of these players. They might start getting noticed a little bit because we want to keep this wage bill as low as possible. But yeah, Manuel David is wanted by Leon. He's got this minimum fee release clause 1.2. I've tried to clear it out, offering him a couple contracts, but he always locks in like 1.3, 1.4. But he's so good, I want to keep him around. Even though he takes up that international slot. So, yeah, he just he locks in 1.3. So I guess it's not even really worth it to give him a new contract because, well, I mean, we pay him a bunch of extra money and then he just goes and maybe this would prevent Leon from signing him in the short term, but I think we just kind of risk it. Uh, Suarez had one. We already offered him a contract, so he no longer has a release fee. And he actually took a slight pay cut too. But Mario is one that I want to hang on to as well because he's Costa Rican but he's been asking for a decent amount. I could trigger it, but I want to get rid of that. That minimum fee release clause. So we're just going remove and exclude. This can be zero because there's no chance we're getting relegated. He, he wants 200 and I keep, he only wants a two year contract too, which I really don't like. We've been through this a couple times and I keep trying to give him a optional contract extension, two years. Yeah, he wants no automatic contract extension. Then we got to do at least three years. We've been back and forth a couple times. Hopefully we can hang on to him. Yeah, he's just asking for more and more money, though. I'll give you the 200. It's kind of a lot. Two eighteen. Doesn't go for it. Hopefully nobody goes in for him. And the other one is Neves. But his release clause is only to domestic clubs. So I don't think he would even go anywhere. Because even if Saprisa came in for $1.4 million for him, there's a possibility he would sign for him. But I think at that point we would just offer him a new contract. And he's good, because his contract's through 2032. So I think we're good, but we're trying to keep the core of the squad, because I think we're building a nice little team here. Since the last game, we played two games and a friendly. A 1-0 win against Sporting. We created next to nothing in this game, but escaped with the win with the early goal. Played a little friendly against the local team. Just trying to keep fitness levels up. And then a Scorpiones. So two... Shutouts in a row. Solis is back and mostly fit. This game was a little bit better, but we've just been rotating and trying to keep everybody fit. We're in a good spot. So hopefully we can take on Toluca here and, and do some business. It's in Toluca, which I looked it up. It's just outside Mexico City, just to the west of it. Yeah, most guys on the bench are a little bit tired. But I think this is what we're going for. Am I want to put Yael Lopez on the bench? No, we got Martinez. So we're good. Yeah, Solis is coming back and doing good. He's made some good saves, actually, to keep the two clean sheets. This is our strongest team. Can we continue the run? That's the question. Against Toluca. 
fans believe in us. Ooh, Alvarez didn't like that, but he turned it around. That's what I like to see. Playing balanced, I thought about going cautious, but we'll stick with balanced. Their team has some good players. On lots of money. Let's see what we can do against them. They have Serginio Test. Oh, I did not see that in the scouting report. 28. Yeah, he's got the flair, doesn't he? He's... Actually looks pretty good defensively. Okay. They're playing a young goalkeeper, though. I think their goalkeeper is one of their worst positions. This guy actually looks pretty good, though. All right. Hopefully our squad cohesion helps us in this contest. America, Santos Laguna in the other game. Can we grab an early goal or try not to concede an early goal? Just want to keep it close, probably. Ooh, that's off the post. Good lowdown cross. Here we go. Can we do something with it? We got numbers going forward. If Torres can find a good pass, looks like they've got back, though. Contreras, what can he do with it? Dest fouls him. Come on, give him the yellow. That's a great early chance for them, though. We get lucky. Really lucky. We don't want to fall behind. We got a lot of possession early. I haven't created any chances. We'll go 20 minutes. Boom. Encourage. Encourage the boys. The game's kind of settled down a little bit. Can we grab a goal? Totch, he's wearing the armband today. He's not one of the captains. I thought about repl I actually talked about the captain and the vice captain, who is um, the Montenegro is the captain. Hall with the cross in. Salazar with the header. Scores it. Marlon Salazar had a lot of work to do and made it happen. He's been scoring more headers. Is that 52 on the year? He might have a ceiling, but if he can score goals in the Champions Cup, what he does have that a lot of Costa Ricans don't have is consistency. There's lots of red and orange consistency from most of the Costa Ricans, but he has consistency. And I'll take that one nothing. But yeah, Montenegro's the captain. I talked to him about dropping the captaincy because Toch has like 17 leadership. Can we score another one here away to Toluca? Benuelos, hold it in. Don't lose it here. It'd be a really bad place to lose it. Nice little ball, though, to David. Quesada Thorn drives in. Neves holds it in. Contreras, a little turn and shoot. <sighs> close. Very close. Anyways, both the captain and the vice captain said, no, you're not taking the captaincy away from me. I'll get mad. And they're both, like, team leader, highly influential, so I decided to just leave it, but... But if they're on the field, hey, Toch is wearing the armband. Okay. I mean, they had that good early chance. We've had two, I mean, with the goal and then the other good chance. We're playing good. I mean, are you kidding me? one nothing away? If we can take a lead back home, we might be in a really good spot. Right side defense isn't playing very well. That's concerning. As soon as I notice that, they go on a marauding run down the left wing. Santos, top of the box, finds White in space. Can we close down off the post again? We're not very good at counter. That's a foul. That's got to be a foul. All right, we're escaping here a little bit. I think we might. Do we go cautious? I think what we're going to do, since we're not really 
dominating possession. So we're just gonna pull this back. Just go mid block. Contreras. His form has dipped a little bit. We'll probably swap out the wings here at about 60. Because Torres is on a yellow and again. Hasn't really shown it. Belmonte closed down. Good good save there from Solis. That was a tricky position. Early in the season, he was just putting the hand down and the ball was just bouncing off his hand, going down and up and into the goal. But he's, he's getting a little bit better. He's still just two-star. Yeah, Contreras is not doing it. Mario isn't super fit, still coming back from injury, but he's kind of the assist man on the right, so... And then Torres. Get Montenegro in there. He took a little knock as well, so... Both of these guys, even though they're in slightly better form, are not fully fit. Hall oh, can't keep it in. Defensive corner. Raho crossed over. Jordan's there. And they got us on the corner. They, yeah. I noticed that they played a short corner there. I didn't have the team train in preparation to defend corners. I did that just based on the fact that their center backs are both short, 5'11 and 6 foot. So I did defend against free kicks instead, but we might need to change that for the next one. Because smartly, they play short corners. Oh God, the second half has been all them. Okay, Sada Thorne isn't playing good. Unfortunately, Martinez is the secondary option. Penuelas, I think he doesn't like big matches. No, he's all right. He's consistent. He's not playing great, though. I mean, that one wasn't really on him. It was probably more on David. Or one of the midfielders. We'll just go with that for now. I don't want to make too many changes. Salazar's got the goal. Probably just leave him in. Tackle him, please. Close down. I think we might need to... Do a little force outside kind of action. Attacking free kick. I think we can get rid of this and that. Swap this around. I don't mind playing on the back a little bit though. And I want to keep them outside. Get them away from the middle. There might be a few too many tactical changes. If we can get onto this, might have a chance to counter, but no, they hold it in. This is Snarrow's. Jordan with another chance there. Come on, boys. I already encouraged him. Can we work something here, though? This one's there for the taking. We haven't been too good in the second half. Play it square. Good. David, what can he find? Plays it to Montenegro. That You need to stop dribbling. Now we're on the defensive. They got numbers flooding forward. It's Jordan. Plays it out wide. Crossed in. Cisneros was on side. Come on. Two to one to Luca. We're in trouble here. I think this is what I need. Get stuck in. Yeah, it's been all them. Second half. Honestly, Penuelas has been bad. I should have made the change. One more. Maybe just Ruggiero. And we could play number 10, move back into that system and try and score one, but Solis is anxious. We're just going to go Ruggiero up top. 
Just swap out the strikers. Go for a little bit of a change offensively here. For late, some late encouragement. I'd like to do this. Stop dribbling. Press him. Cancel. Give the encouragement. Yeah, it's been... They've made the halftime changes that they needed to. We're just not creating anything. Well, it was a good start. Looks like they kind of outplayed us, especially in the second half. They hit the post twice, too, so maybe we're pretty lucky. I'm not that proud. It's not all I asked for. I think they need to be better. I don't like it. I think you could have done better. You weren't good enough, sorry, Penuelas. You, you needed to come off. You weren't good enough either, Quesada Thorn. I mean, you did well. Don't worry about it. Ah, <sighs> well below the standard. Okay. Don't want to go crazy. Don't want to go crazy in on him. It's all right. It is what it is. We'll learn from it. We need to do Torres. He can, he can perform well in this position now. Good, finally. Yeah, inconsistency. It's a problem. We need to do a little match review. Let's learn from that. And then we'll work on some transition restriction. Then we got the attacking stuff, but we got the midweek game, or the weekend game rather, against Grecia. We're easily finishing first in the league in the closing phase. It's pretty tight though. It looks like Saprisa, Santana, and Punta Arenas are going to be the teams to make the court or the semifinals. But we'll be back for the second leg against Toluca as I push forward here. God, look how good we are. All right, we went in for the wardrobe change. Time to take the kit off. Stop being a fanboy. Put the suit back on. And get down to business because we got a very important second leg here. We're back at home. Got to turn around the 2-1. We won the game in between, the weekend game against Crescia, 4-3, sort of a local Alajuela derby. Um, should have been 4-4, four to, four, to be honest. They scored two goals. We we're up 4-1, to one, and we were kind of a rotated team, but still. So it's good to get the win, but we didn't close out very well, and Solis did not play good. So it's good, but it's not great. I'll show you some of the other results, though. Sporting Kansas City turned around a 2-0 against LA Galaxy and won on penalties. Tigres beating New York City and America up on Santos. But our game is upcoming. We've got... so I don't have the team ready. Of course. Okay, this will take a minute here. Just make sure we get everybody where we need them. You're at least on the bench. You're at least on the bench. You, you, you. Get rid of Perez. He's not going to play. Neves here. Mongi might come in. Toch for Hara, who might come in. Penuelas. Get rid of Calderon. For not going to start Stephen Jones. But he can be on the bench. Alvarez. Since they have the partnership, even though Alvarez has hates big matches, he's got four determination. Frustrates me. All right, Salazar, he's the man. Suarez playing out here on the wing has been doing pretty good, but Contreras is in the best form. Torres actually played pretty good in the last game, but Contreras, or Montenegro rather, is the team captain, and he's definitely in better form. 
Definitely not. Don't need you. Hall. Don't need Perez. Rojas. Murillo's a bit injured, but we'll probably put him on the bench anyways. Now we might just play Torres or Suarez out there if we need to. Okay, Sada Thorn. So back four looks good. David Neves, Toch, Montenegro, Contreras, Salazar up top. Do we want Murillo on the bench? Who would we who would we take out? No, but Yaya Lopez. Don't need Yaya Lopez. Okay. There's the team. I changed up Manuel David's role as a ball-winning midfielder as opposed to a defensive midfielder. So took a little hit on the tactical familiarity, but he seems to like that role quite a bit more. Maybe he's better suited to it, to be honest. Let's see if we can turn this thing around. They're not on great form. Revenge. Pump fist revenge? They like it. Here we go. Hands on hips. They're all motivated and inspired. Got off to a good start in the first leg. Let's see if we can get off to a good start in this one. Looks like they haven't really rotated much. Hopefully they're not as fit as us. That might be one thing that'll help us produce here. Their morale's a little bit lower. They all look fit. Neves, the early yellow. Defensive corner. Lift it up. Can Hall get to it? No. Solis just watches it hit the post. Or touch the net, maybe. Let's go. Encouraging the boys. They're building out of the back. Let's prevent that. Because they're probably pretty good at it. With players like... Um, the American left back, who I'm forgetting his name. No, this guy's playing left back. Never mind. What's his name? Where's he at? Is he not on? I thought he was starting. Anyways, forget I said anything. Serginio Dest, of course. How could I forget? Old Dest boy. All right, that's a good tackle. This should be us. It is Solis. Okay, relax. You could probably just use your hands there and slow things down a little bit. But I like Neva's little run through the middle there. Montenegro, what can he find? Salazar scores it. I think he was on. Might be close, though. If he was, that was a really good pass. And it's that's a goal. It's two all on aggregate. Nice run from Neves. Good little cut inside from Montenegro. Yeah, he's on. Beautiful pass. Great finish from Salazar. And we're level at home. And still, keep the pressure on. Don't let them build out of the back. They've got space out here through Garcia, though. Can we hold him in? Ibarra. Jordan makes a little turn. Shot low down and he scores. Dang, I thought we closed him down enough, but Solis wasn't good enough. And they're right back up. David's not happy. Why not? What's your issue? Probably because he let in that goal. Not really creating a ton. Might go into a number 10.
man, that's harsh. The one shot they had. They always like revenge. It, was, it wasn't satisfactory at best. It was actually pretty good. Revenge. Let's talk to David in particular. I have faith in you, all right? Don't worry about it. Come on. Keep going. You weren't that bad. Give him the hands on hips. He seemed to like that. All right, that's about the best I can do. That's the best halftime team talk I've ever given. Come on, guys. We can turn this thing around. I believe in each and every one of you. It's been a while since there's been a Costa Rican team in the semifinals of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Let's go change that. That's all I got. Toch isn't playing good. Touch is hurt. Defending corner. Let's see what happens here. Probably gonna take Touch off. <sighs> Close one. Injured. Feels he can shake it off. He's just not playing good though. 6.5. I think we make the change. Question is, how do we do it? Do we change the system? Let Toch play through. Decisions, decisions. Benuelos again isn't playing too good. Keep it as is for a minute. See if he can walk it off. It's not working. It's not working. I think we're going to take Totch off. David's anxious, but he's having a good game. I think we just go this. Big calls here. Suarez is coming in. This should be on attack. And we're bringing in Gonzalez, who's coming back from injury. And Montenegro's playing good. He had that nice pass, but Torres can be a game changer. I might even go attacking here. Still want to keep this going on. I don't care about that as much. Do want to counter when we can, though. Get stuck in on. I will leave it off since Neves is kind of on a yellow. <sighs> All right. Play without pressure? No. Play without the weight of any expectation? No. Go change the game. Let's make it happen, Torres. Just composed. Everybody else is motivated. Come on. Here we go. Highlight right away. I don't think any changes have been made. Nope. D David's still in. Yeah, that's kind of an iffy pass. Contreras thought he was going to lose it there, but somehow they didn't take it. Can he get a cross in? Salazar <sighs> hits the post. Or the crossbar. Here we go. Get a tackle in. Nice. Good tackle from Suarez. Yeah, 
There's the pass. Gonzalez, can he slip in Salazar? He might be off. He's got the flag raised. I think he was. I think he was just offside. He was offside. Dang it. I'm gonna pick up the pace here. Oh, that was so close. Oh, it just needed to be a hair earlier from Gonzalez. If he was fully match fit, maybe it would have worked it. Come on, they changed systems. So we're going to change up a little bit too. Take Salazar off. And he scored the goal. He's only on a 7.1, so going for Ruggiero. Torres, you can go to attack. Gonzalez, you can go to attack. Thorn, you can go up to attack. That might be our last sub. I mean, yeah, he doesn't even like this position. I guess we can do this. Confirm. Last bit of encouragement. Can we get anything? Attacking free kick. Contreras lifts it in. Up and out. And this is White threw in on an empty goal and scores it because Solis was up. Damn. I mean, we're sending forward our goalkeeper. There's not really an option to just do that. They just do it automatically. But I don't think I would ever send him forward because he's 5'11". Just because we went very attacking, maybe? I mean, maybe that's it. That's pretty, that's pretty harsh, I guess, but I don't know. Well, we didn't really create too many chances. This probably doesn't deserve to be a loss, though. I mean, we need two very, very, very late goals, so we have to score right here. And we can't do it. And that's going to be the tie. We go out at the quarterfinal stage to Toluca. Played well. I thought we had a good strategy going in. They scored on us right after we leveled it up. So that's pretty brutal, but it is what it is. I mean, it's unacceptable. That's... Despite the fact that they have 10 times our wage bill, America goes through. Toch pulled his thigh. Maybe I should have taken him out a little bit earlier. We'll just look at the other results. Disappointing, but hey, we're competitive at the corner final phase of the Champions Cup, so... Maybe next season we can do a little bit better. Maybe. Tigres gets through. So one MLS team, three Mexican teams, no Costa Rican teams.
It's unfortunate. I thought we played pretty well. It was against Toluca, so I mean, there's still Tigres in America to get through, so it's probably likely that we wouldn't have made it through the semifinal either, but we can compete. We do some strengthening of the squad a little bit, especially in the center back position. Goalkeeper hopefully gets a little bit better over the course of a year. Maybe we'll have a shot at it next season. But we have got just a couple little closing stage games. Saprisa and Radiano up next. I'm not going to show you those ones because we got it wrapped up. We're going into the semifinals. So we'll come back for the semifinals for the league in the closing phase. Again, they're disappointed because stupidity, but dang, that was it was close. It was entertaining at least. One of the closer contests we've had all season. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll be back next time and we'll get some better results. A little disappointing, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Adios. We'll see you next time.